All right, welcome back. Uh, I had to make some changes here to my videos. Actually, I've already got five parts of videos up or, or produced, but I've only got two on YouTube. So I've got to change things around. I've got to throw this in here. So this will actually be, uh, I believe, part three now. So I'm going to have to change all the other ones. But I had to get this in here because I got a comment today from a fellow who said he just bought the same model I did. And uh, I, I, I've already found some problems. <clears throat> and I've just got started on this thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I kind of want to get this out there to him and whoever else might be working on this or has got plans of buying this particular model and working on it. Uh, I've been working on it for about a week and a half off and on. I, I really, past two days, I haven't done much. But I've been sitting around today looking at the directions, looking at some things, and I'm thinking, boy, I'm going to have a lot of stuff i got to figure out on my own. It, it's pretty much common knowledge that, that you, you have to know a little bit about building one of these when you buy a kit like this, uh, you just don't buy this kit and the directions show you how to do it from start to finish. You've got to have a little bit of knowledge or have built one before or something similar to it uh, because you're going to run into a lot of problems if you haven't. Now, I found some mistakes in the directions and on the sheet plans that I don't understand. And that's why I'm getting this out now, uh, to let everybody know, especially, um, oh gosh, I already forgot his name, and I just got his, his comment. I'm sorry, guy. <clears throat> but uh, there's going to be some problems here. Uh, here's one of them I found uh, the other day, and I actually post this in uh, video number five, which will now be video number six. But uh, putting on these center boards right here, <clears throat> when they want you to put them on and when I put them on, uh, there's a little discrepancy there. So you'll have to wait for either that video to come up or check the plans out for yourself. Because <clears throat> they kind of want you to put some decking on the ship before you put these boards on. And that's Bayes Sackwards. All right. <clears throat> so I ordered some stuff today from uh, Mono Expo. I wanted to get some extra dead eyes. I don't know if I'm going to be talking about this because these videos have got me all screwed up now. But the uh, laser cut dead eyes they give you, I will not be using them. So I ordered me some extra round dead eyes. And I'm going to do all my dead eyes in, in the round ones because the laser cut ones are kind of an oval. So I ordered some dead eyes today and uh, I wanted to order some portholes. So I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you what I'm talking about on these plans. I've got two sheets of plans that I, I'm a little lost on it. Uh, but I ordered some things from them today, and uh, so I'll get that stuff in, have some extra dead eyes in that. Plus, I ordered uh, another flag, and I usually get my flags from over in England. And, uh, oh gosh, I don't even remember the website on that. I, I ain't got my act together. By the time I go to edit this, I, I'll put it on the bottom down here. And it goes, let me see if I get this right. It goes... This, no, it goes this way. Because <laughs> um, everything's backwards in that thing. So I'm going to turn this camera around and show you what I'm talking about with these plans. I got one of them taped up to the wall now. And I'll have to take that one down and show you the other one. But already, I mean, I'm not even into this thing two weeks. And, and I'm finding mistakes and finding things that I think, come on, guys, man. You know, it's it, it's got to be a little bit easier than this, and you know, so without me 
continue to babble on here. Let me get the camera turned around and show you what I'm talking about. All right, um, so once again, I watched this video, and there's a, there's a couple other little things I want to tell you. Let me zoom out a little bit. You're seeing too much of me. How about that? That better? Um, I ordered this stuff from Model Expo, okay? Them extra dead eyes. All right. Now, I've got them right here. Those little dead eyes there. And I know they're not showing up. They're still in the plastic bag. All right, so I got one out. Okay? I wanted to see what I had to met, what size I had to order. All right, and I got my little caliper out here. Okay, nice little caliper. And I'm taking measurements. And I've got me a little conversion chart that I got off the internet for these uh, measurements. Now I measured these little dead eyes. Now they make a 3.5 millimeter and a 4 millimeter dead eye. Now what have I got? <laughs> you know how much a half a millimeter is? That, that's like the width of a hair on an ant's ass. So I went ahead and ordered both. I ordered me to 3.5 and I ordered me to 4. Uh, I don't can't remember what it was. Three or four bucks extra to get the other size. But uh, you know, it's just it, it, this is what I'm saying about this video here. You're going to be watching about how how they they make this so complicated and it doesn't need to be like this. So uh, watch the rest of this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now I. I'm probably going to be repeating myself because, like I said, I filmed some of this stuff before about a couple problems I found on this one sheet. So I might be repeating myself a little bit later on. But uh, I got to get this out there before I get started and anybody else gets going on this and, and following me along that there's going to be some problems. So hang in there and watch the rest of this video. Alright, the first sheet I'm going to show you here is, uh, and it's down in this corner, it tells you sheet number three. Alright, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus in on this one little area up here. Let me get her focused in here. Right there. That is the cabin and that's on the rear part of the ship on the deck um, these little spots right here this one and this one here says it's on the port side only so I guess I only got one on this side uh, personally I'm gonna put one on each side I'm gonna have two on each side two here and two on the other side even though it says only one over here blah 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 Anyway, nowhere did I see in the booklet of directions or on this sheet of plans what is the diameter of that hole. Because they want you to, you're going to have to drill a hole in there. But nowhere did they tell you the size of it. And that's a porthole. Right here they call it an airport because, you know, it gets air in there and it's a porthole, so an airport. But they, they give you no dimensions for the size of that hole. Don't tell you in the booklet or anything. Now, I know this is a set of plans, and you can take measurements with your rulers off of this. But why is it got to be so complicated? You know, isn't this like a set of blueprints, and everything should have uh, dimensions on it? So anyway, I wanted to order me some brass ones from... Uh, model expo and I measured that and I got about an eighth of an inch well they got two sizes and I had to get the closest to what I could figure that is so you know and, and once again they want you to build this uh, this cabin and you're gonna have to take let me back out a little bit 
Oh, wrong way. You're going to have to take all your dimensions off of these plans. Get all your dimensions here for this and this and build that thing. And they got a little bit, let me see if it's showing up. A little bit of up here to show you too. So you better have yourself a good little ruler. And here's something else. Let me focus back in on this. Here it comes. Now this is their plans. Right here. Unidentified object. What? <laughs> they don't know what that is? Nobody's uh, gone to see the real uh, blue nosed plans or anything that they got all this unidentified object. What? Oh, well. I, you know, <laughs> it is. It is what it is. All right, but the real problem that I'm having is coming in the next sheet. So let me get the next sheet up here for you and show you that one. So hang in there a second while I go get that one. All right. Now this is sheet number five. If I can get a little bit flatter. This is sheet number five. And you can see it's they're fairly good sized sheets. Okay. Now I have talked about this sheet. Like I said, I, I don't know what order I got these videos in anymore. But I do talk about this sheet. About my sales are in that mess. And I have to try and find the outline of them sales so I can get it. But that's not only problem with this, okay? Uh, let me find it. Okay, found it. Right down here. It says 7 64ths of an inch with the letter S. Now I take it that the letter S means a single block. I'm not sure because if you look over here the letter S stands for, for single sheave. Now sheave is a pulley. Is that the same as the block? I'm not sure. And it, that's not the big problem though. The big problem is it says 7 64ths of an inch. I have no blocks that are 7 64ths of an inch. And I kind of glanced over pretty good at the directions and I don't see anywhere where it says to make a sheave. So I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I'm going to have to figure that out. I guess if I got some single blocks that are pretty close to that that's what I'm going to use because that looks like a block and tackle right there. So that's probably what I'll use is a single block right there. And get it as close to 764 as I can. They, they, have no, they didn't give you any 764. I went through all the parts list. There's none in there. All right. I had another problem here. Give me a second. Okay. It's on the other side. Let me find it. Let me get zoomed in on it. It's kind of hard to figure out where I'm at here. There it is, right there. Okay. I got cameras and lights. I'm tripping over everything. Okay. Now this uh, quarter lift P slash S. Okay. P slash S. I racked my brain trying to figure out what is P slash S. Finally, I guess it came to me, I guess what it's port and starboard. I, you know, nowhere they're putting these little abbreviations on here, but then they don't tell you over on the other side, over there, <laughs> of what these abbreviations stand for. So I come to the conclusion that PS, and there's a PS, and there's a PS, it, it, it must stand for port and starboard side. They want you to, to run this line on both sides of the ship, I, I, I guess. So, 
like I said, you're, you're going to have to have a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of experience building one of these things because anybody that buys this for the first time and doesn't understand uh, some of this stuff, it, you're going to be lost. But I think they could have done a little bit better job with these plans. Like I said, you know, they could, they could have made one extra sheet for just the sales. Because i got to find them sales in there. And let me tell you something. I was looking on their website. And they sell sets of sales. Pre-made. You can buy from them. But I did not see a set for the Blue Nose. But you would be surprised what they get for a set of sales. Cheapest ones I saw were 60 bucks, And they go all the way up to almost 100 I think I'm going to start me a business making these sales. But uh, these are some of the problems. I'm, I'm just going through the directions and looking and, and, and seeing what I've, what I've got coming up and what's going on. And then when I see block and tackle that I don't have that size, or what does this stand for, what is that? Uh, you know, maybe I'm, I'm crying, but you know, it, it's going to be a job. And, and like I said, uh, if you bought this for the first time, you're going to be in for a treat. But the directions, they have a lot to be desired. They really do. The, a lot of times, they'll tell you, the uh, I'm pointing at stuff I don't even know if I'm showing up they'll tell you this board here uh, is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick but how wide you know so I mean I, I'm gonna figure it out that, that's no problem it's just it, it, they're making it a mystery it doesn't need to be this hard okay so, like I said, I, I had to throw this in there. I got other parts. I was going to put up a different part tomorrow. I, I already started on the, uh, I got my uh, bearding line all done. That's the line down here, the bearding line and the rabbit. I got that all cut in into my, uh, the keel and all that. That was going to be next, but I'm going to have to put this video up first. So, uh, give guys a heads up. If I find anything else wrong or, or things like that, I'll let you know as I go along. So, enough of me yapping. Alright, thanks for watching.